guys, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and we're about to get on a boat on Let's Play Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Welcome back, guys. Last time we left Besaid, got into some tutorial battles, and we're about to head on to a boat, but to where? Well, you're about to find out. No big changes since the last episode. I did um, use that sphere level I had on Titus. Taught him agility plus one so we have more speed. Um, for Yuna, I taught her no blaze. Basically, with the no spells, um, with no blaze at least, it um, prevents the party from taking fire damage. But once they get hit with the first fire attack, no blaze is basically gone. So there you go. I taught Lulu um, MP plus 20, her first... Um, MP booster for the um, sphere grid. Um, Waka, I did not use up his sphere grid on her um, his sphere level just yet. I, I actually want to save Waka for something specific later on, so I'll let you guys in on that when we get to it. Otherwise, than that though, let's head on to the boat and catch up with the others. In any case, how's it going? I knew this day would come someday. I knew. Okay. Please watch over Lady Yuna. Here, have this. You may find use for it. Cool, thank you. In any case, yeah, if you talk to the villagers here, they will give you some um some items here. Fiends down, ether. And of course, with this guy here, we get a secrets ring. That's a new um armor for um Yuna there. The secrets ring is actually pretty nice. It gives Yuna HP plus 10%. And for for Yuna, she needs all the HP she can get. So, you know, there you go. Otherwise, the net though, you got something for me? Yes, you do. Money. Hey, kids. I'll miss Lady Yuna. Come back soon, yeah? Uh, we'll try to. We're getting on a boat. Lady Yuna, don't forget me, okay? I'll try not to, but you know Lady Yuna's on the boat already, right? <laughs> but in any case, we get a remedy from this kid. Cool. All right, we're all set to go. Get a sip of water here. While Yuna says her goodbyes. Bye, bitches! Uh, no, no. Aww. It's like you're saying goodbye to her forever or something. Huh. Goodbye. Okay. I mean, we're, we're just going on a journey to fight the giant sea monster, right? So, why does it sound like she's going away forever? Huh. I mean, uh, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Never mind! In any case, well, I'm sure I'm sure we'll be back to Besaid. In any case, it looks like our next stop is Killica Port. Hmm, good to know. In any case... Ooh. How's it going? What the hell? Otherwise than that, though. Hey, Lulu, how's it going? You, I, I, I see you wearing no bra today. I don't know who you are or where you came from. Okay. If you interfere with Yuna's pilgrimage, we won't take it lightly. Take it easy. I just met you all. Jeez, the fuck's her problem? Huh. Whatever. In any case, uh, I'm not sure if it's this boat or the other one that we'll be taking later, but there is an item around here somewhere. I don't think it's this boat, though. Yeah, no, no, it's not this boat. There is a boat that we'll be taking a little bit later on that has a item inside that room that we were just in. We'll go over that later. Ooh, those fascinating clothes you're wearing. Thanks. 
Yeah! Filthy, filthy. These won't sell. All remains not a waka. Okay. The fuck's his problem? Don't look like you got much money either. <laughs> I've no business with you. Out of me way. Who do you think you are? Awaka the 23rd. Merchant extraordinaire. Awaka the who? Oh! You know me? Well, not many do. Not yet. Huh. Maybe it's your Australian accent, buddy. I don't know. Nice Australian accent, by the way. Renegades, if we only knew how much money we actually have. <laughs> no, no, no. In any case, how's it going? But someday, the name of Walker will be spoken all over Spira. Say, lad, you wouldn't have a bit of gill to lend. Uh, yeah, I actually do. Now, viewers, um, talk to a walker here. We'll be running to him throughout the game. Every time you walk into or run into a waka, you can offer to lend him some gill. Now, depending on the amount of gill that you give him as loan, he'll make it up to you with interest later on. A waka actually owns a shop, and the shop can upgrade um, depending on the amount of money that you give him. And with a, a, the larger amount that you give him, the better discounts that you'll get from his shops later on. You see what I mean? So yeah, since I have the money, I'm just going to splurge my ass off and give him a whole lot. How's one million, buddy? Yeah, pretty much. And that should do. I guess it pays to ask. Thank you kindly, lad. Fine seed money for the Oaka Merchant Empire. Yeah, you better make it up to me later on for all that money I just gave you. Psst, he will. What the hell? What the heck is that? What the heck is what? What is this place? The power room, like it says on the door. Yeah, but why the big birds? What's so strange about chocobo power? Chocobos? Those are chocobos? <laughs> what? You've never seen a chocobo? What kind of backwater island did you come from, anyway? <laughs> if only you knew, lady. If only you knew. Miracles and oddities were starting to become daily routine on this trip. Ooh, chocobos. So mysterious. But over here, we get our next Albert Primer. Albert Primer number three. Nice. In any case, yeah, that one is very missable. Unless you go all the way due to, due to that room over there. So yeah, make sure to check it. And check it often. But in any case, over here can find a remedy nice but that's not all check this some um, suitcase over here and you can get if I can anyway can I get it or not okay fuck this fast forward oh okay never mind then I, I guess I thought fast forward would help me there uh, oh you know what yeah if you kick it like 20 times I think you get like some potions or something or other so, yeah. Not that I care. We have more than enough. Otherwise than that, though, let's continue on with the plot, then. In any case, hey, Waka. How's it going? Come to think of it, I haven't told you where we're going. First to Kilika Island. Then we change boats and head for Luka. For that, though, Yuna's gotta pray at the temple. I'll be guarding. Huh. You'll be praying for the Aurochs' victory, too. So you come along, yeah? <sighs> Great plan. Hey, it is a great plan. Don't look at me. <laughs> okay, so apparently we're going to Kalika Island. Good to know. Good to know. I guess that's our next destination to get, uh, I guess, another Aeon or something for Yuna. Good to know. In any case... We'll be praying for the Aurochs victory, too. Oh, yeah, he says the same thing. Ooh, a blitz ball. Can I kick it? No, no, no. Word is, that summoner's got noble blood. I heard she's Lord Braska's daughter. You don't say. Lord Braska's daughter? Hmm. Huh. Who the hell is Lord Braska? Huh. Hey, Kamari. How's it going, dude? I'm sorry for kicking your ass the other day. Uh, I guess he doesn't talk much. Huh. Whatever. In any case, what's going on with Yuna? So, is Yuna's father famous or something? 
She's the daughter of High Summoner Braska. You saw his statue at the temple. Lord Braska defeated Sin ten years ago. Yun is the heir to a great legacy. Hmm. It's tough. <sighs> when your father's famous. Huh? Huh? Walker's a bit lacking in the imagination department. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lulu. I'll keep that in mind. I guess, I, I guess he never had a famous father. Huh. Oh yeah, you talked to Yuni yet. She had some questions for you. Huh. Might as well. We haven't talked to her, like, since the last episode. In any case, let's go check on Yuna then. I guess Titus was referencing his father, you know, especially considering his dad was a star Blitzball player. Huh. Hey, how's it going, girl? They look so amazing in high def. Holy cow. They did really well with their redesigns. Come here often? No. The wind. It's nice. Mm. Wind is called Kaze in, in Japanese. Huh? <laughs> Did I say something funny? <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're a blitzball player, aren't you? From Xanarkin, right? Uh, you hear that from Waka? Mm-hmm. Huh. Waka. Waka doesn't believe me at all. I would think so. But I believe you. Huh? I've heard in Xanarkin, there is a great stadium, all lit up, even at night. Huh? Great Blitzball tournaments are held there, and the stands are always full. How do you know that? A man named Jack told me. He was my father's guardian. What? How? But... My father. His name is Jekt. <gasps> Amazing! How is that possible? How did he get here? You know, our meeting like this must be the blessing of Yevon. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Sounds like him, but it can't be him. Hmm? Why not? My old man, he died. Ten years ago, off the coast of Xanarkin. So is it another jet that came here? Huh. I I'm sorry. He went out to sea for training one day, and never came back. Damn. And no one's seen him since then. But how? Wait, wait a minute. Why, that's the day that Jack huh? came to Spira. But... It's true, I first met Jekt ten years and three months ago. I remember that was the day my father left. Are you serious? The date fits, doesn't it? I uh, guess. <laughs> yeah, but how would he get here? You sense asshole? <laughs> You're here? Are you not? True. I mean... Jack could have got sucked into Sin's asshole for all we know. That's one way to get to to Spira 1,000 years in the future. Yeah, suck it up, suck it in. Whoa! Holy shit! What the fuck was that? Wow, nice transition to FMV. What is going on? Wall of water. Oh shit. Uh oh. Oh shit. Yuna! Damn! Woo, that was close. What the what the fuck is happening? Whoa! Uh -oh. oh shit, it's a shark! Or wait, what? 
this is sin. Holy hell! Look at that thing! It's huge! That's what he said. <laughs> or she, depending what on your preference. What do you think you're doing? Stick a harpoon in him and we'll all get dragged under. Sin is going for Kilika. We gotta distract it. Our family signed Kilika. Forgive us, Lady Summoner. So, you're gonna stick a harpoon in his fin? Wait! Oh boy! Doing this is gonna drag us under water, asshole! Uh, too late. We might be boned! Got him! Uh. See? Well, I could try to warn ya! Great. Now we're all gonna drown! Oh yeah, that's sin all right. Oh fuck! Oh shit! Whoa! Wipe out, dude! No! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, we got we got a fight in our hands, people. I like I like how the game transitions between FMV and and game. It's cool. I like the way they do that. But in any case, out of my way. Yeah, these are basically the same sense scales from on from the start of the game. So yeah, you and I can't do shit to them. Come on! Oh yeah, Kamari's joining our party now. Ha ha! Yeah, Kamari can equip spears or harpoons or whatever. There's more to Kamari that I'll get I'll get into when it becomes pertinent. But yeah, we got a fight on our hands. The thing is, we can actually fight um sin itself. Um, we gotta use Waka's ball or Lulu's magic. Um, have you and a summon Valfour. Valfour can also take care of the fit. Now, just like any old boss fight, you wanna definitely go ah, for the um. Oh, yeah, Kamari has this lancet ability that can absorb HP and MP from an enemy. It doesn't really do much right now, so just keep it in mind for later. Just, well, if you need some extra healing, Lancet can do it. But in any case, yeah, just have um, Lulu or, yeah, Lulu and Waka take care of the Fen, or just leave that up to Veil for it. If I can target the Fen game! There you go. Jeez. Huh. But, you know, these, these Sin scales are easily dealt with. Unfortunately, once you kill off all three, Three more will take its place. It's endless. How many of these things are there? The fin. Attack the fin. Yes, attack the ass. But yeah, literally, yeah, our swords and our spears can't touch that shit. Like I said, Waka's um, ball, Lulu's magic, um, Yuna's aeons, they can do the trick. So, you know, there you go. Um, fin, or, uh, fail. Sin has no real elemental weakness, so... It won't really matter which spell that you um that you use. I think Thunder would probably be the way to go. I mean, we we are at C after all. Um, Sin itself has 2,000 HP. Sin scales just like before have 200. So you know, there you go. Now for each Sin scale that you kill, you will get two ability points. So focus on that, and then focus on the Fin once you're done collecting or you know mopping the floor with these bastards. So yeah, we got more of these to go. <laughs> and we got more of these sin scales to take care of. Can we take care of the sin scales? Can we defeat sin? Why is it here? Find out next time. If you guys enjoy, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids from me. Hit the bell to stay notified whenever I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. Till next time, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day. Smell you later!